Today we are going to learn about the distributive property. Go ahead and write the distributive property down in your vocabulary. The distributive property says that you can multiply the add-ins of a number and then add the products. And basically we've been doing this for a week now. So an example of this is if we have 7 times 14, we can break the 14 apart or decompose it into 10 and 4. And we can multiply the 7 times the 10 and the 7 times the 4 and then add those products together. So we're going to have a problem similar to what we've been doing. The numbers are a little bit greater now that we're getting further along in the chapter. And we're going to do the same thing. We can break this apart, decompose it, and use the distributive property. So I take that 47 and make it a 40 and a 7. Then we can multiply each of those parts then add their products. So I start by multiplying the 6 times the 7, which is 42. Then I multiply the 6 times the 40, and I can use the 0 trick. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 0. So 240. Now I can just add my two products together. If you can do this in your head, awesome. If not, just write it down and add it. 240 plus 42 equals 282. 282. So that is our answer using the distributive property. One more example. I'm going to continue to use the distributive property and draw an area model to do that. So here's my model. I have my 8 on the side, and I made my 72, a 70, and a 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Then 8 times 70, 8 times 7 is 56, plus a 0, so 560. Add those together. 0 plus 6 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, and 5. So 576. Okay, we're going to go ahead and have you do two practice problems. So go ahead and answer 68 times 5, find the product, and then you'll unpause it. Here is the answer. Here's our area model. We break apart the 68 and 60 and 8. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 60 is 300. Add those together and you get 340. Second practice problem. Go ahead and multiply 96 times 3 and pause. 96 times 3. We break apart the 96 into 90 and 6. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 90 is 270. Add those together, you get 288. Okay, today you have four problems. We'll check these in class. Number 1 is 45 times 6. Number two, 73 times 5. Number three, 28 times 4. And last of all, number four is 69 times 2. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful day.